Okay. We're off. And so my plan is very simple. What I'm going to do is go out in the bay here in Florida and see how many wildlife shots I, I can get. And I'm hoping that this will become a, a community of photographers. And then we can learn together. I'm starting off now because this is the beginning of, of, the, of the whole process. And I'm heading down to a place to buy some more stuff for my boat. And I hope you'll join me. Okay, you're in a place called Stereo Bay. This is where I'm going to be doing a, a series about uh, photography. I'm going to try to do, you know, as much video as I can. It's, it's difficult in a boat. I'm out here and there's flat and there's tarpon out here. And I've been trying to show you these tarpon out here. And it seems like every time I get close to one of them, they, they skitter away before I get the camera on there. I wanted to show you what they look like when you see them in their, in their natural environment, not like a Bass Pro Shop or on TV. They come to this flat usually every year about this time. And there's another flat not far from here that looks awesome. Well, let's see what happens. Right there, and you can see a dark shape in the water there. Dark, long shape. See right there? That's not a very big one. That's a tarpon. Oh, oh shit, I got one over here. See? See? Oh shit. Oh shit. I done it. You see him swim? There's one over here too. I'm, I keep my eyes out because you never know what you're going to see. You know, it could be anything. There's ospreys out here. There's eagles out here. There's uh, that's predatory birds that, I, that I'm with. There's hawks. There's hawks out here. There's pelicans. And just, you know, any, any kind of uh, shore bird you can think of. Okay, so I'm using a Canon EOS 7D Mark II with a 400 millimeter prime lens, candle lens. Got, got a cover on it, it's one of the white ones. Uh, great lens, great camera, does uh, 10 shots a second. And I got it set at uh, shutter priority keep it one one thousandths or faster unless it starts to get dark and uh that, and i just put it on auto iso because right now my iso is 320 so that's fine 
320, 400, you know, and it gives us plenty of sunlight. I use the cover exclusively because there's a lot of sunlight out here. Fish, sometimes you can actually get pictures of fish. Uh, manatees, and I just, I don't even know all what out what's out here. So I come out here and just cruise around and look for, look for something. <laughs> How y'all doing? This is Ken. Hey, and I uh, want to want to take a little time right now to just ask you to subscribe if you don't mind. That moves me up in the search engine, so I actually will get seen. I appreciate that support from y'all because I need all the support I can get. In the future, I'm going to do some in-depth videos on what equipment I used out in the field and how I took the photos and I mean other than just the camera, there's a few things like lighting, like it's, it, I mean for wildlife Bright light is pretty good, but if you can get there early in the morning, late in the day, that's even better. But I'm a firm believer that the best time to take photos is anytime you can get out there and do it. Same thing with fishing. The best time to go fishing is anytime you can go fishing. You're not always gonna get the option to take these photos first thing in the morning and at the end of the day. So sometimes you just go when you can, because it don't matter as long as you're getting the photo because it's just like fishing, which also we're gonna be doing some of. It's just the same thing. The best time to go fishing, the best time to take wildlife photos is anytime you can. And that's Ken signing off. Subscribe, please subscribe. I need your help. I can't get any support any other way. You have to subscribe. You have to click that bell. And it's all up to you if you wanna see more of these videos. Because if you want to see more of these videos, you'll help me out by subscribing and move me up in the search engines. That way I'll get a chance to get viewed a little bit. I do appreciate you watching. I do appreciate you taking your time. And I hope you'll come back again. I do want you to come back again. This is Ken signing off. See you later.